Hi guys, my name is Chloe and I'm going to be doing the video lesson this week over Cloud Levy Strauss. Um, so he was obviously our focus this week and he focused a lot on structuralism and how it contributes to our um, religion today. So I'm just going to give you a quick background on him and then we'll dive into talking more about structuralism. Cloud Levy Strauss was born on November 28th, 1908 in Brussels, Belgium, but he did grow up in Paris, France. So Growing up, he became a French anthropologist, and he continued his academic studies to the point where he became a teacher. Um, so throughout his lifetime, he actually traveled to Brazil to become a visiting professor. And there he really engaged with different tribes to understand how they interact in their societies. Um, so that's where we get a lot of his work today. So Levi Strauss had many publications, as we read a couple this week, and he's extremely well known in the fields of sociology and anthropology. Um, unfortunately, Levi Strauss died October 30th of 2009, but he was almost 101 years old. So structuralism helps us better understand the way culture and society um, are in relation and the way that they work together. So the way that structures of society are formed help us better understand how we think as humans and how we have deeper logic, um, and it helps us understand human thought. And so one way that we kind of understand this through structuralism is by identifying binary oppositions. And so some examples of this would be like male and female or hot and cold or land and nature. So we really see those opposites present in our society um, and we see how they work together, but also work in contrast of each other. Levi Strauss also helps us understand another aspect of structuralism, which allows us to analyze myths and totems. For Levi Strauss, the aspect of our existence were more so about the ways that things differ instead of the specific content themselves. So when we apply structuralism to myths, we more so recognize the differences between the elements that make up the myth rather than the importance of the elements themselves. This also comes into play when we talk about totemism. So when we focus on totemism, we understand that the tribes are different and that they might be recognized and identified by a specific totem. But it's not the totem itself, such as a bear totem or an eagle totem, that gives them significance. It's the difference that the bear or eagle signifies for that tribe. Another way to understand structuralism is by understanding how Levi Strauss compares myths to syntax and language. So a way to understand and compare the two is by thinking of this analogy. If you have a word by itself, it doesn't have as much meaning as when you put it in a full sentence with other words. The importance isn't given to language through one word, but when they're combined together to form a meaningful sentence or paragraph. Structuralism is meaningful in the same way. So when we think about elements of our society, it, they're not as important when we focus on them as individual, but the way that they intertwine and connect to each other and impact one another. Overall, myths are always transforming, just like language. Myths are shaped and are formed by our surroundings and culture. When we look at myths and we identify all the elements that make up a myth, it goes back to understanding structuralism and understanding that as an element on its own, it's not important and it doesn't hold as much significant as it does when they're connected and when they work together. In summary, I think that Cloud Levy Strauss used structuralism as a way to take all the information and knowledge that he gained when studying cultures and simplifying it for us to better understand just the essential elements of culture. Um, he's obviously very influential and he's very important in the scholarly world as we're still talking about him today. And so I just wanted to make this short and sweet for you guys, and I hope you have a great fall break. Thanks for watching.